Welcome to this second video in our IPv6 series. Uh, my name is Johannes Ulrich. I work for the Science Technology Institute. The purpose of this second video is to show you how to detect and block IPv6 in Linux and some of the pitfalls you may run into while trying to do that. Let's start with a network diagram here. I do have a simple network diagram drawing that shows you the network we're dealing with here in this movie. We start out with a client system. That's uh, where we originate our probes from. It's separated by a firewall from the target. The client is running OS 10 in this case, the firewall and the target Linux. I know that the client and the target IP address at the bottom here. Let me just uh, very quickly, if you're new to IPv6, talk a little bit about the addresses. The red part here of uh, the address is the network part. That's essentially what I got assigned by my tunnel broker. The second part, the green part here is the subnet address. I have a subnet one and the Second subnet is actually subnet zero, so uh, that's kind of uh, in this colon colon part here. And then I have the interface ID. Just to keep things easy, I manually assign them. The client has an interface ID of three. The target has an interface ID of two. So now let's switch to the client. And just start a simple ping. On OS 10, you have to use ping 6 if you want to ping via IPv6. And let me just 470 D846 colon colon 2. And this will ping my target. Response that's pretty good. It's all on a local network. Now let's uh, switch uh, to the target and make sure that we actually see these probes coming in. We of course use our old favorite TCP dump. The interface here is ETH0, we don't use a snap length and then uh, numeric. But uh, what filter to use? Uh, one filter for example would be, let's just look at the ICMP traffic. Well, nothing, nothing coming in here, okay. Let's look at IP traffic, but let's make sure that the first byte is 60 because after all it's IP version 6, so it should start with 6. And let's see what we are getting here. Let me just put this into quotes. And again, nothing. Well, uh, if you know anything about uh, TCP dump, you may have heard about bit masks. The problem may be that the second part of the byte here, which uh, is not the IP version, uh, is something else. So uh, let's mask that off with a simple bit mask and still nothing. The problem is that IP, this keyword in TCP dump, implies IPv4, so this will never fit an IPv6 packet. For IPv6, we have a keyword called IP6. And let's try this. And sure enough, we do see our ICMP version 6 traffic now. It also works a little bit simpler. And let me clear out the screen here. You can also just do IP6 and this will detect all IPv6 traffic or if you're looking for ICMP version 6, you're just spell saying ICMP 6. Again, not ICMP. ICMP by itself without the 6 implies version 4. So again, we do see our ICMP version 6 traffic. Since we're able to detect the traffic now, let's try and block it. I'm switching over to my firewall here. Now, while I'm doing this, uh, if you just watch on the top of the firewall window, I still uh, left the source, the client window exposed. You should see these numbers change as the pings go through. So we are running Linux, so we're using IP tables, or we insert a forward rule and we just say protocol ICMP 
drop. Okay, rule is accepted, no error, but the traffic keeps flowing if you look at the uh, numbers up here change. Okay, maybe we need to do it like in TCP dump and do ICMP6. No? ICMP v6? No, doesn't work. The problem is that IP tables only deals with IPv4. What you need to look at is IP6 tables. IP6 tables is the program you're using to block IPv6 traffic. Okay, let's try and block ICMP traffic with IP6 tables. Hm. Those numbers still change. The traffic is still flowing. So what did we do wrong? ICMP is a different protocol number than ICMP version 6. And if I write this, dash P ICMP, all it does is it goes to Etsy protocols, pulls out the protocol number for ICMP. Let's uh, take a look at Etsy protocol and grab for ICMP. And we do have two ICMPs. We have ICMP and we have IPv6 ICMP or ICMP6. So what we have to do is we have to plot ICMP version 6. And finally, if we switch over now to the client window, we managed to plot ICMP version 6. The same is true for sort of the other protocols. However, UDP, TCP work the same in IP version 6. You still have to use IP6 tables. You can't use IP tables to block ICM, IP version 6 traffic. So uh, this is important to remember. You do need IP6 tables rules and uh, a firewall script for IP6 tables in addition to your IP tables firewall scripts.